Hey everybody, it's the Redstone Wizard here again, bringing you uh, another Redstone tutorial. This time what I got for you is the latest and greatest of Cass's Categorize Sorter. The Categorizer Reloaded. That's what he called it, so yeah. But a link to his original video will be in the description, but yeah, let's uh, take a look at what we've got. Now... This is a, uh, now this one right here is a very simple, basic version. No major bells and whistles, just uh, works. <laughs> this one has a few more of the bells and whistles. Not many, just about uh, three, but yeah. So, now the way that this system works is it works like the standard categorizer, where here is our chest of all the filtration items. So this is a redstone chest that none of the other ones are programmed. I just uh, had this one set up just so that I could show you guys. And now I've got this shulker box here. A bunch of items, stackables, non-stackables, things that aren't in the system. And I could just throw it in this chest. And the first thing is it's going to say, okay, now we're going to be getting items going up the system. Let me pop up in here. It's yeah, it's going to first say items are going to be going up the system. And did I not have these uh doesn't look like I've got those uh up. Ah, that's why. Okay, items are going up the system. And yeah, just uh, forgot to attach that, but the other one, yeah, item elevator in use. This is will be, I'll get this one attached. I just got to uh, look at the linking and where I want to register it, but yeah, we're starting to pull, we're pulling items out. Items are actually getting pulled out of the shulker box getting sent up into the system and if the system in, in if this hopper here ends up having more than 42 items or a signal strength of two it's going to stop the uh, unloading process by locking yeah let's get up in here by locking that hopper and that hopper Mostly this hopper. This one is not as important, but this one is. It'll lock this hopper, preventing any items from going into the system, and it's going to continue processing. And then once it drops down to below threshold, it'll unlock and fill up to the same point again. And it goes through a checker. And if we check here, we got redstone dust coming in. Any other items got through? No. No, no unstackables. A shulker that was in there to start with. But yeah, so. It's a very simple build. And we do have uh, what I like to call uh, additions that you could put on. We have a shulker box loader. Where if this one reaches fill up, uh, full, it will break and just go to the next one. This is a shulker box checker, which if a shulker box is full and if it has any items, it'll go into this chest. If, it ha if it's empty, it'll go into the bottom one. And you can actually register it to a certain level where if, if it's full, if it's anything other than full, I want to send it through the unloader. If it's full, then we're going to leave it. Then we have a unloader which is actually the one we have in there. And then we have an item elevator, which is actually ones we have in there. And then we have a multi-purpose. This is a sugar box checker. But this is a, uh, this is an item separator. It separates shulker boxes, non-stackables and stackables. So shulker boxes, non-stackables, and any uh, stackable. So if I throw this concrete powder in there, it will end up 
in here. If I throw a shulk box, it'll end up in there. It's it can be confusing how this works, but it works. And there is going to be a world download, so if you guys actually want to take a look at it, all of this stuff. And here's an input. I'll actually mark these out for you guys so that you guys can see what is what. And uh, let you guys know and so uh, for the world download. So. I'm just going to uh, build the chess hall, the chess section, and then we will get on to uh, building the uh, brain. We'll walk through, I'll walk you through the uh, chess hall for a uh, quick review for those that have never seen this type of categorized sorter before. But you guys, I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. And behind me, I actually have the uh, just the chess hall built. So let's uh, just take a quick look. Now, this is just a single slice of every single section for the chest hall. So it's very simple to build. Just one of these will have to become a detector rail, like we have right here. And that will activate the reset circuitry for it. So these are droppers. The dropper has one item in it. It doesn't matter what item you have in it. And we are using a signal strength of two, which consists of this. And I recommend having at least a filter, the non-stackable item filters, non-stackable items as the first part of your filter. And if you need to add more space for partial stacks like intervals and whatnot, you can always replace a normal non-stackable for a full stack of the item uh, of your filter item so and then all you have to do is just uh, connect the line here with a little loop and connect and then with the shortcuts just add another block of torches and based around what happens here when you power this rail if you so let me just grab a uh, lever real fast. If we power, uh, when you set it down, in fact, actually, when you build this, you get your rail, you get it like this, get your power rail, place it like this, get a lever, turn it on and off. If it goes back to here, then you need a repeater. If, let me break this, break that, lever, Hard rail. If when you flip it and flip it off, if it goes like this, you need to have it powered with a torch. When these are off, this line's on. In other words, when there is when there's an empty space, this will flip. If there is no empty space, it'll stay like this. This is what you need. And the rails are just uh, going at an angle. Momentum is stay uh, stored and goes all the way through. So, and that's just the chest hall. So let's uh, empty my inventory real fast and let's take a look at what we need. So, the first thing is everything in here is what is needed to build it. And there is no control. There is one thing for control circuitry and that happens to be the cake. In here we have our filtrations. So let me move that over there. There we go. Yeah, so nine non-stackable items. I prefer water bottles because they're cheap and easy to get. In fact, they're probably the cheapest non-stackable item you can get in the game. 23 of your filter items, which is from the chest in there. A stack plus 23 of another item, and this is for your lower filter. And then you need a bunch of blocks to build with. 40 glass blocks, 42 redstone, 50, 15 repeaters, 29 comparators, 13 torches, 20 observers, 28 chests, and the, the chests are for a little, some of them are absolutely required, some of them you can actually cut the numbers down. 11 regular rails, 2 sticky pistons, 1 detector rail, 4 comparators, 1 hopper minecart, 4, I am using... Two, uh, two of these uh, lamps are going to be used for signal detection. 
and the other two are for observer detection. 19 droppers, one barrel, 52 hoppers, four slabs, one cake, one dispenser, one piston, 21 power rails, and one target block. So let's uh, grab all of these. And also, we're going to need one shulker box. And because I can't put a shulker box in a shulker box, so we're going to need one shulker box. Plus nine non stackable items, 23 additional items from your filter, and a stack plus 23 lower. So, what we're going to do first is we are going to connect our hopper lines together. So, Go over to, and then from here, go down one, all the way in line with the hoppers, and bring two over, and go up one, and down one. And put a block there, put a block up there, solid block. And here, it doesn't matter what block you use, it can be whatever you want, a slab, a solid block glass something that you can place a comparator on reading this hopper we want to place a comparator we want to throw a dust right here with a block right there now this is our wall so you so this could always end up being uh, so your redstone can hide so from here we need to grab our redstone torches now this is the exact same setup that has been used for the previous a uh, couple of the previous ones. So all we're doing is just uh, rebuilding that. Okay, comparator here, comparator here. Grab your dust, throw dust here, here, and here. That will create a, a pulse extender which as these items pass through it will hold the minecart until all the item until it is out of the system a repeater there a repeater there on three ticks I was a repeater there and I noticed one thing that's not on here we need a trap door also doesn't matter which trap door you have just need a trap door grab yourself a target block and throw it right there now that's going to power this repeater with this one dust so that these will actually turn off technically at the same time. Grab a torch, place it there, grab your trap door and standing on and standing down here, we're going to just place it on there and you can close it, open it. At some point we will close it. So if you're using an iron trap door, break the torch, replace it, that'll close it. If not, regular then we're going to grab our powered rails we're going to place three power rails and we're going to break this one out and place a solid block behind there here we're going to add two more actually add three more put two powered rails here grab your regular rails and add one two three four Make sure that the power rails, make sure that it goes like this. We'll add another regular rail there. Any block you want with a torch on it to power these rails. Now, I'm going to use glass here for these two right here. The glass, its sole purpose is so that I can place a chest here and open it. And then we can throw whatever block we want there. And then in line with it. We're just going to set two blocks. We're going to throw a redstone torch there to power this line. Then we're going to grab a double chest. We're going to place the double chest in. Grab hoppers. And on this back half, towards the center of the build, we're just going to line them up all the way to underneath this first hopper. Now, we're going to place a block next to this hopper down one and we are going to create a small little box with it grab a comparator throw it there two dust 
grab yourself your composter and give this a signal strength of one. Now what this is going to do is when a minecart comes in and drops off the items, if it drops off, it's going all non-stackable items are going to go into the chest here. While all the regular items are going to be going off into the system over there. So we can close that for now. And we can close that. And we're good here. Now we need to take, come over here. We need to temper we need to go down a few blocks three blocks specifically from the chest grab our droppers Ooh, let me move that I'll grab our droppers and go one two make sure that they are going up and if you're having trouble slip that in there move around and then a hopper going into it we can take that block out grab a hopper going into there and a hopper going into there Grab any block you want, go out three, and then go up one. And we will grab our regular rails and powered rails. We'll put a regular rail all the way to the first hopper, powered rail, regular rail. Now, come over here, in line with this hopper, you're going to place a block there, a block there, and a block there. Compare to there on subtract mode. Compared to there, on default, dust there, grab your composter, throw it behind there, and fill it to two. After you have that done, now we're going to come over here, grab our lower filter items, grab our non and grab all of our non stackables. We're going to throw four non-stack first, a stack of filtration items, and then fill up with uh, the non-stackables. Here, we're going to grab the 23, fill up all of them, and then drop the 18, and one will end up in here, and throw four non-stackables, and then you can just go to this one and just throw it in, or you could just put all five in there and let the system process it, and you'll end, it'll fix it that way so that's how that works so now what we're going to do is we're going to take we're going to skip two blocks place a normal block and we're just going to put in line here put one over here one over here we're going to go up one and place a block above this rail grab a powered rail place it there and there and two powered rails there now we're going to place a regular rail there we need to make sure that even if well, this does not get powered at all, if we have it this way, and if it does, it stays like this. If it happens to go like this, all we have to do is just power it so that it ends up over there. That's if you uh, get it set up weird in specific directions. We need to go from here down that line, not back up here. So from here... We need to take our chests. We get a double chest. Place it right here. When the minecart comes in, it's going to sit under here and collect items from it. We need to put a solid block on top of that. A block next to this rail. A comparator. Doesn't have to be on subtract. We'll place it there so that when items are in there, it will read it and a block in front of it next to this rail so now whenever items are in here this rail is powered and will remain powered allowing the system to process all of that now on this back side on top of this comparator any block you want and any block that will update i usually use rails for this powered or activator doesn't matter and we need to grab our observer so we'll place an observer there a solid block now you can use either glass or slabs here or even glowstone a non-transparent block something that won't transmit signal two of them there and a 
Solid block there with the solid block up. Throw dust here. The dust will prevent this from firing, which is fine, which is perfect. And a three tick repeater there. Now we've got, if an item starts, it's going to start our system, but we're not done yet. So now we need to grab ourselves a slab. This slab is absolutely required. We'll place it there. Only reason why we need a slab here is because glass will transmit the signal down, the slabs will not. So when this fires, it's not going to mess up with our system over there, but the system will power on up here. And from there, we need to place a solid block next to that, a torch on top of that, a block on top of the torch, and a torch on the inside here. And we need to cover that up. And then we could just fill it in with that. I do recommend putting slabs so you can look inside this chest if you need to. Or glass. A solid block up. And then we could just fill that in like this. To be able to get our system to start. Now, before we continue here, we need to take and get our glass. Place one here. I'm going to place a temporary block there because I need to grab my droppers. Oh, I think I got spares. And we're going to go up until we are in line with this dust. This has to be a glass or a slab to prevent this from getting power. So we want this to stay like that and that and so it's not power. Now we'll grab our hoppers, and all we'll have to do is just two hoppers. So now when an item comes through here, comes uh, when the item is full, it'll send it all the way up into here, collect, and go into the system. Now we throw a hopper there, we break that, throw a powered rail on top of that, grab our detector rail, and place it right there. Now... Any block you want, uh, we need a solid block under here with a with an observer here. We can use a solid block or one of our detector blocks. I always prefer solid for this. And we'll grab our detector block. I want it silent, so I'm using lamps for that. And we'll throw a comparator there which now will cause this system to be able to send the item up one. Any block you want, dust here, and a repeater right here. Leave it on default with a block behind it, and you can throw dust on it. It's going to power this and this system, but it will work the way it needs to work. Then... Any rail you want there, grab your observers, place one there, place one up, grab your power rail again, throw it there, and an observer there. That will send the items all the way up consistently. Now we need to empower these two rails here, so grab your torch on this observer, place it. In fact, we need to replace this with either a slab or a glass, just to prevent that rail from being constantly powered. So now, we need to grab our dust again. Two dust there, one dust there. A repeater, leave it on default, repeater here, set it to three. Repeater, set it to three. Grab our comparators. And we'll go one here, one here, one here, and one here. This will allow the system to hold while the minecart gets loaded. And then we need to come down one. In fact, actually, I reckon this one should also be replaced with like a slab so that we can just place a solid block here and a solid block on top of that and dust all of this. And that just allows it to slip through. So now we've got our start circuit, our fill circuitry, and 
our unload circuitry. Now, if this is all you need and you don't want to have any extra bells and whistles to be able to load it, all you have to do is just place a block there, grab a torch, power that rail, and there we go. So if I grab my minecart, throw it here, open the door, close it, it's going to come in, set up, position itself, and there we go. We, that's set up. But we're not, but we're going all the bells and whistles. So yeah, if you are comfortable with that, this you can actually run it this way. I actually have a modification of this on my uh, Let's Play series, so I know it works. So now we're going to take, grab a hopper, go into the back of this chest, and we're going to throw two more chests here. We're going to throw a hopper going into the, uh, on the back half of this and throw a double chest here. So now we got that set up. That's our, uh, and then we're just going to take a hopper, throw it right there. We're just going to bring it all the way to there, right in line. Now come to the, uh, come inside of our chest hall and we're going to have from our chest hall, we're going to have a wall, a wall, and a two block gap and then we're going to have another wall here and this wall can be however you want it it doesn't matter i just uh like uh, this i just i honestly i prefer this style of wall and you can have any method to make it look nice just because it is absolutely gorgeous so yeah in fact Actually, that will sit right here because my chest will sit there. Okay, so now what we got to do is bust out this one right there, and we can bust out these two because we're going to need space. We're going to grab our chest again. We're going to place a double chest here. We're going to come over here, go out four blocks from where the chest is. So one, two, three, four. Grab our hoppers. One going into this block, and now we take out these ones, and the other three going to the chest. Now, this is our line that's going to say, okay, this is everything that's going to be going in there. And we need to move over a block, grab our droppers, place one there, and grab a hopper, place it into the dropper, and then we will just fill her up with our droppers. Till we are in line with like uh, yeah, till we are in line with the top of that. Now grab a torch. Now grab your torches, and we will throw the torch right there. That will power that. We don't care if, even if it pulses. I've tested it. It's going to work. Trust me on this one. You can test yourself if you want. But, yeah. So next, we're going to place a solid block under there. A temporary block. Any redstone activated block that the observer can detect. You can even use uh, trap doors or whatever. And, a, uh, and take and place an observer on the back of that. Grab a... Comparator, place it there. A solid block there. A solid block there. A solid block there. We're gonna, we're gonna throw dust here, cover it up. And in fact, we're gonna actually just bust that part out there because we're gonna do something special with that. Come over onto this side. Two more. Let me get right up in here. Oh, I still can. Dust here. repeater here which will create a clock and now the special move and now the special part Grab a redstone torch throw it there that's going to create a burnout clock which is fine because it will update every single time and it will work perfectly a powered rail observer and then all we have to do is just keep going up until we are the observers in line there and one over so top of this observer is going to be in line with that 
and we could just bust out these ones and throw powered rails on here to be able to power it all. Now we can take this out and place a block. This wall here, this is part of the wall, so we can hide all of our nice looking redstone and it was meant to keep as compact as possible. But it's, some people don't like the look of redstone. I absolutely love it. So yeah, so now we've got observers detecting the powered rails, which then creates our item elevator. Nice thing about this item elevator is we can go through any side of this other than right there. <laughs> it's a three-sided item elevator. And that will process. So now we've got our item elevator. We need to go grab our hoppers and a dropper. So the dropper, we need to go over two and down one. And push it towards the back over there. Going down, and then temporarily place a block there, and then hopper going that way, add two more. Now this is the crucial part, pick a side. And yes, I am serious about this, pick a side because we're gonna throw a solid block, an observer, going into the solid block with a comparator. Now, we're going to take two hoppers. We're going to throw one there. We are going to throw a hopper here and then here. Grab your shulker box and throw it right here. Now we have a shulker box checker. This is going to say, okay, is it a shulker box? Yes, go down. Is it a shulker box? No. Okay, go through the rest of the system. Now, we don't want to have any items other than full of, other than stackable items, so we're going to have to fix that. So, off of this hopper, we're going to take a comparator reading. We need to place a solid block underneath the comparator. Then, we need to grab some either slabs or glass. Choice is up to you. And we can place a slab here. A uh, solid block there. A comparator. Non-transparent block with dust. And we could actually put that on a subtract mode with a solid block up and any trans any block you want. I recommend transparent there. It will prevent with dust on it. Grab yourself a composter. And we'll throw that there and put a fill level of two. We'll grab a hopper and drop it down. Now, that's our non-stackable item filter set. So, next is we need to get our shulker box fill, uh, filter. Uh, we got our shulker box filter set. We got our non-stackable item filter set we have our normal items we need to unload our shelter boxes so at this point what i recommend is grabbing some chests right here we'll just throw a double chest and right here we'll throw another double chest grab a hopper throw it under there and then we can throw a double chest here double chest here throw four high double chests with hoppers going into those and a double chest right here with hoppers going to our non-stackable item filter. That right there will allow us to be able to, and this is why I said transparent, I highly recommend transparency because of this one right there. Now we will grab another chest and we'll put a double chest there, come underneath, put a hopper, a, another double chest, and now you got a choice either we could just run it straight in or we can run it like that the choice is up to you strictly your choice it's all about your options and i like to have options for everybody so because i like to i want to have it there 
Then we are going to build our shulker box unloader. So dropper next to the dropper, a solid block coming down and another block, temporary block there with an observer going from there. We could take that out and a comparator here and here. We will grab ourselves the uh, sticky piston. We'll throw a sticky piston right there. With a solid block on top of that, a torch, two blocks, and I'm, I'm going to use a glass here just so that I can have, uh, so that it's not, well, that one doesn't have, that one can't be glass. That, uh, this one can. But that has to be a solid block. And that's going to, this is part of the uh, unloader. Okay, a solid block. Or, in fact, actually, yes, that one is a solid block. A solid block up. A solid block over. A comparator, an observer, going this way. Grab hoppers. And we are just going to weasel our way like that from that hopper to one we now we're just looping it around if you want to you can actually have uh, the hoppers go like that so you have a little more space here that's fine it's that is your choice but then we have to get a repeater here set to two ticks a repeater here set to two ticks from the observer to the repeater to the block from the block to the repeater going out and then on this hopper we're going to place it place it on two ticks where when this pops up it's going to send a signal through this repeater powering this barrel which the barrel is going to have a hopper going into the side of it and a piston our regular piston whoops and our regular piston there. Then we're going to take an observer, place it here, throw dust on there. That will only power the dropper. And only power the dispenser. The piston will only the piston will get powered from there. And if you want to, you can have a set of uh, uh, and you can throw a shulker box in here. One shulker box will always remain in here. Any of the other systems I've tried, it breaks. So I prefer using this one. And then all you have to do is just send a hopper line to there. Now you can, now I recommend just covering these up like this. And if you actually just want more consistency with this when it comes to collection, take and throw a powder of snow right there. That will assist so much more, and it is good. I do recommend it. So having it like that will assist. So now we got our shulker box unloader going into, and this will, uh, which means right here is our empty shulker boxes. We can have that covered up so that. If we want to, we can have it looking really nice. And there we go. That's just going to have the shulkers. And these are going to have our non-stackables. Then, from here, we need to take and throttle, slow down the signals coming from the system. So, if this chest gets full, we don't want to constantly overflow the items. And that right there is a big problem. Because if you overflow the items, it's just going to, you could actually end up backing up your item elevator, and we don't want to do that. So we're going to throw a block there. We're going to grab a comparator, pull the signal out of that hopper, go into a solid block. Now, I'm using glass here. You don't have to use glass on, the, on these two. You can use solid blocks if you want. But honestly, I just like the glass better. And we'll place three blocks and three dust on top with a solid block in the middle. Come over on this side and we'll throw a torch. Now we'll throw a solid block here. 
glass, solid block. I'm using glass because I prefer <laughs> glass for this. And two comparators, which means anytime a non-stackable comes in, it will slow the system down just enough so that it's not overflowing. It's a regulator. This is a flow regulator. And then we're going to take and drop down two blocks throw a, a, with a solid block in line with the piston. Throw a solid block on there. Throw a torch on top of that. And then this one doesn't matter if it's a solid block. But the this one has to be a solid block. Solid block there. Any block you want there. And a solid block there. Throw a comparator here. Dust here. Dust here. Grab yourself a repeater. Place it there. And then we will place three blocks of whatever you want there. Dust them up. And we will throw a solid block right there, which is going to throttle our inputs. Yeah. It's going to throttle the inputs from here. Now that we've got most of this done, we just need to lock that hopper for detection. And we need to prevent uh, our filtration items, our hopper filtration items, from getting in here. So from this junction right here, Take a temporary block, place it to the side, a hopper going to the side, one going down, just like this. Now, we're going to take a solid block, put it here, and any block you want here, other than this one cannot be a slab. I will say that now, and we'll throw two dust here. Grab our comparators, and we'll throw a comparator right there. Comparator right there, and composter set to subtract mode with a signal strength of three. One, two, three. I use cake because it's a guarantee, but you could use some other things. Now, I'm just going to throw a chest in here. Because I would want to make sure that I, if I feel like changing things up, I want to lock all of it. But grab your chest filter items. In fact, I should really take those out. And I'm just going to grab a few more. Come in here. Come to this. Ah, get over here. Come to this hopper. And we will fill this up here. 15, 60, 17, 18. And then if we add one more, it will drop down one and we're good to go. So it is as they slowly accumulate. If I throw these right in here. I don't like that. As, soon, as you can see, our filtration items are going through. It's not getting put into the system, which means our chest hall is safe from mistakes of putting in the filtration items. Oh, and then and fixing that, it's a problem. But yeah, so now we got that. So the last step to do is right up in here. We need to take and place a solid block here. Uh, actually, we could use a... Uh, glass block here. And then grab a comparator. Throw it here. And slip right through here if you can. Solid block here. I'm going to use a slab here. And I'm going to put another slab here. We'll throw a... Comparator here, grab your one cake, and throw it here. Now, we need to take and place a solid block here, dust here, any block you want here, and a solid block here. We'll throw dust here, and a repeater right here. 
You can leave it on default. And then on next to this repeater, we'll go and grab our other sticky piston that we didn't use. We'll throw it right here. Up on out. Throw a solid block on that and a torch next to that. And now we've got our system for the hopper being locked. And when an item actually goes through, it will pull and push the item all the way up. If it's a single item, it's not going to do anything because there's not going to be uh, the whole point behind the set, uh, the piston is to add a little delay to process the item through. And if no items are strong enough to go through it, then it's not going to power. It's not going to pull the item out till afterwards. That's what the piston is for, is to add a little more. It's to add a secondary pulse to it. And if that's, uh, if that's running a little too fast, just add one tick at a time. So now we've got this set up and everything is uh, put together. Now, if you want some indicator lights on what's going on, all you have to do is just grab your redstone lamps. So you throw them right in here and I have them set back because if you want to, you can make it look really cool. Like, oh, cause I'm not going to power these directly. Let's use the, uh, new mangrove pop these up and all you have to do is grab an observer this first one's real easy you could either take it from this one or this one your choice place it there solid block that will power this one only now we need to take a signal from here so i recommend using glass coming all the way over we will throw a repeater here and grab some dust and uh, put dust there. In fact, if you want to, you could even just do that. That will save you a little bit of a uh, dust and that will help out a lot more. And now this, you know, when we come here, come out here and we look at the indicator lights, this light here is going to say, okay, we've got uh, items going through the item elevator. This one here, it says, okay, we've got items coming out of, there's items in the unloader. And that's what that is. And that's the sole purpose behind that. And then all you have to do is, and you could throw items in as you, as you see fit, and they will... First off, pass through our hopper line, and as you can see, we've got a, uh, oh, we had items going through the item elevator. Looks really nice, uh, nice signal, letting us know. And you can use whatever ones you want there, just so that you know. It's not, uh, that's not as important. This is just good uh, indication. And as it goes through, if a non-stackable item comes in, it's going to go through there. But they start filling up here, as you can see. And they fill up. And any non-stackables that go through will end up in this chest first off. And there is absolutely nice protection and any empty shulker boxes will first first one will always lock here before it ends up in here. And there we go. Now these are all getting pulled out and registering. Like I said it does pulse it and regulates the speed. See? Non stackable. No shulkers. No shulker going there. Let me grab another one so we can put the shulker into the storage. Into the shulker box storage. See, we got an empty shulker there now. And as soon as that other shulker pops up and goes in, 
it ends up in here, and there we go. No items at the item elevator. Signal saying we've got uh, items going through. And... Oh. Occasionally that might happen. I've, uh... I haven't... It's rare. I mean, super rare. I... Uh, it's happened out of a thousand times of me just running minecarts through here that's that, that happens maybe two three times most of the time it will fill there just got to make sure it stays loaded and there we go and the minecarts going in and while this is still unloading no items will be in here unless it's a full stack items sit inside the chest and there we go. And the minecart will launch when ready. And none of these are programmed, so I'm going to actually leave it unprogrammed for you guys. And let you guys take a look at everything. And yes, this part right here is will be available for you to take a look at, so you don't have to break anything apart to understand it. It's all separated out. But... I'll leave, like I said, I'll leave a world download. I'll have it set so that you guys will end up right over here so you guys are in the good one. But you know what, guys? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down in the comment section. If it's a major issue, I recommend you joining my Discord where the world download will be also. And any questions, just kind of shoot me a message that way. On the Discord or in the uh, community or in the te or on the comments below. If you want to support me, you can subscribe. But you guys, this is the Redstone Wizard. Enjoy building.